Ahoy and welcome to this narrowboat adventure. Today I'm going to be resealing one of our roof vents with you. So thank you very much for joining me on this DIY adventure. Um, so what we've done is we, we found that we have a bit of a leak coming through some of our vents in the roof. And so the thing to do when that happens is to reseal them. Um, so this seems like it's going to be a big scary undertaking but once you've done it once I feel a lot more confident to do it again. Um, so I videoed one of the, the vents that we resealed um, and it certainly wasn't the first one because the first one took a lot longer and was a bit more of a let's just say a slow messy affair. <laughs> um, so the first thing to do is to take off the vent. Um, we had to unscrew it and then you just use like very gently some kind of tool to lift it out from the um, silicone um, and then you've got to go about scraping all the silicone off of the vent portion and also off of the boat itself. Um, we also scraped away any paint and rust and really went over it with, um, with a uh, wire brush and all those things where there was rust and then painted over with a primer which was a a, a rust inhibitor as well. Um, we did two coats of primer and then two coats of top coat and so that took quite a long time to wait for it to dry and thankfully this was the week before the cold weather started because goodness knows what would have happened had we been having a leak while all this snow and cold weather's been going on. It's important to note that when you paint it you need to make sure that you can still find the screw holes for your screws. We actually replaced ours with bigger screws because the ones that were originally in there weren't actually going through the boat. Um, so yeah, when we put the silicone on, we put it onto the actual vent itself rather than onto the boat. Um, and then once we had it in place, we screwed it in and then we put extra silicone around the edge and onto all the screw holes. It wasn't a difficult job but it was a long job because as we repainted the area around the vent we had to wait for the paint to dry each time which often would be 24 hours before you could put the next layer on so it did take a while um thank you very much for watching i hope this is interesting for those of you who maybe have a boat and need to know a little bit about the regular maintenance um yeah it's something you can do yourself it's not terribly expensive but again quite long not terribly difficult though uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. If you'd like to join us again on this narrowboat adventure, you can click subscribe in the description. You can also go over to Facebook or Patreon or whatever you like. Uh, Twitter. Yes, I'm on Twitter now. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.